The first thing we're going to do is go to a new project and we'll go to browse, select our plumbing default project template, hit OK. Now we'll go to systems, pipe, and since we're drawing sanitary pipe, we'll make sure our pipe type is set to PVC and we'll also make sure our system type is set to sanitary. To start drawing our pipe, let's draw it at negative two feet since sanitary pipe is below the floor. Pick a point right here and we'll start drawing our pipe. We'll end it right here. As you can see, the visibility needs to be changed. So so we go to our view range, hit edit, and make sure the bottom is set to unlimited and the view depth to unlimited. Hit OK. And now we can see everything below the floor. If we want to continue drawing pipe, we just select it and right click on this grip and select draw pipe. And we can continue drawing our pipe. If we want to make a 90 degree elbow, we just go down 90 degrees, click a point, and Revit will draw this elbow. We want to draw a 45 degree elbow, we just click a point at 45 degrees and Revit will also make that elbow. If we want to drop our pipe down even further, we change the elevation to say negative 4 feet and then just pick a point and we'll bring it back up to negative 2 feet, pick a point about right here. And now if we want to bring it back to the finished floor elevation which is 0, 0, we just type in 0 here and then hit apply to finish our pipe. If we want to take a look at our pipe in a 3D view, all we have to do is select our pipe and use this section box button and it will open up a default 3D view of your pipe. You can change the detail level by going down here and selecting fine and that will give you a 3D version of your pipe. You can use the thin lines command to view a more detailed display of your pipe. Right now we are using a diameter of inch and a half. If I want to change the diameter of all my pipe, I can select at one point and hit the tab button and it will select my entire piece of pipe. And I can just change that piece of pipe to say four inches. Let's go back to our floor plan view. I'm going to turn off the thin lines button and now we're going to try to draw some T's. So I'm going to select my piece of pipe and if I right click on this and hit create similar, it will create a pipe at the same elevation that I selected. So I'm going to click a point right here and we're just going to T right into this pipe. And Revit will automatically display a T. Let's do that again. If I want to change the direction of my T's, I can just select the T and then click this little flip fitting button. And that will flip the orientation of my T. If I want to change an elbow to a T, I can select my elbow and use one of these plus buttons to create a T. If I want to make it an elbow, I just hit this minus button. If I want to change the color of my sanitary system piping, all I do is select a piece of pipe, go up here to piping systems, go to edit type, under graphic overrides click edit and then I can change the color of my system, maybe to something brown. Hit OK. And now all of my sanitary piping is a brown color. Now I'm going to show you guys how to draw your sanitary piping over an architectural model or background. So give me a couple seconds, I'm going to create this bathroom. Now that we've created the bathroom, let's link in the file by going to insert link Revit. We'll select our sanitary arc model, hit open, and let's zoom out to see our bathroom. We'll delete this piping. Now whenever you draw sanitary piping, you want to draw at the last fixture first. So we'll go to systems pipe. We'll start at negative two. And I'm going to pick a point over here because I'm going to align the sanitary piping after. We're going to go over here. And our main on the street is this way. Hit escape. We'll select this pipe, right click. Hit draw pipe. And then we'll go to the finished floor elevation, which is zero and hit apply. We'll align this piping by going to the align command and we'll click the center line of this water closet and click our pipe. Hit escape. As you can see the piping isn't showing correctly so I need to change the visibility settings. So I'll go to visibility graphics or VV, Revit links, and make sure half tone and underlay is selected for my Revit links. And now you can see the sanitary piping is showing up correctly. We'll pipe up this floor drain the same way by going to our main, right clicking, Create similar, pick a point about right here, click here to make a T, then we'll use the align command, click this point, click this point, hit escape. Click the pipe, click the grip, draw pipe, go to zero, hit apply, hit 
hit escape. For the lavatory, we'll do the same thing. We'll right click on this piece of pipe, create similar, but this time we'll make the elevation two feet. We'll start the piece of pipe about right here. Go into the wall, drop the pipe, and then we'll select this. Hit escape. Now we'll align the pipe. Select this piece of pipe, right click on the grip, draw a pipe, and this time we'll make it up to about four feet, hit apply. We'll change our scale. Now let's align these pipes again. As you guys can see, my time is almost up, so I'm just gonna clean this up real quick. Please check out part two, where I go over a couple more tips and techniques for drawing sanitary piping. Thanks.